Hey my friends, welcome back yeah, to this video. We're gonna combine two things I really like to do. Basically painting, seascapes, this one here, and scuba diving. Yeah, I'm grabbing a set of brushes here, as you can see here, small, um, or even bigger, flat brushes, very soft ones, and I basically mix uh, with my seven um, yeah, base colors, more or less. The set of yeah, colors for the yeah, background and the reef. Some detail shot here, how you should apply the colors, very flat, very even. Yeah, then I already start to build up um, the wave details. You can see, it, this time we don't paint the waves um, from above, we paint them from below, more or less. And then we already start to build up the reef, you can see here. Um, of course, grabbing smaller brushes. Also extending the, yeah, the edges into the water part, more or less. As you can see here, very yeah, painterly, very yeah, really trying to get in the perspective. Um, yeah, not the air perspective, but the water perspective. And this, this is very, very strong. You, yeah basically need to kind of um, yeah, exaggerate quite a bit um, yeah, the distance that you paint, more or less. On the right side, I then start to build up the reef that is more in the foreground. Yeah, we have lots of different colors here. Darker bluish ones, cream ones, uh, brown ones. Basically just yeah, the rough kind of shape and color we yeah, need to kind of build up the first um, yeah, kind of 3D effect. A very non-detailed one, I have to admit. So on this here left side you see turtle gonna paint. And it's basically the same. Um, kind of just some base colors to kind of flesh out, um, yeah, get the turtle in, kind of a first very rough 3D, um, yeah, version, more or less. I know it looks flat, you're right, <laughs> kind of, but yeah, this is, yeah, the first version where we can more or less already see the rough shape. Yeah, and then I start to yeah, build up the details on the waves, more or less. As you can see here, we can basically leave the wave from below, more or less. The, the white water foam parts. And then I'm starting to add those a little, yeah, detail parts, the air bubbles, more or less. And then we start to yeah, build up the detail parts on the reef. You can see here. Yeah, basically flashing it out. I'm starting to yeah, get in the volume already. Kind of, yeah. Lots of different um, brush marks, as you can see here. Kind of yeah, lighting up the reef um, from the left side. Yeah, also like some more detail parts here and there. And you see it doesn't require a lot to yeah, really kind of yeah, use the background color and the lighter color to really yeah, kind of flesh out, bring a 3D look into the um, reef part. And the same goes for the reef that is yeah, a bit more to the front, as you can see here. Also 
kind of yeah, fleshing it out, um, getting in more details, yeah, making it more 3D also. And you see, um, it's getting darker, of course. We need more contrast. Also, yeah, the colors kind of getting more pure. You can see here. Yeah, we're using here this yellowish color, a bit more. Like some grass here and there, some sea grass, and yeah. <laughs> Now on the right side here. This part took forever, I have to admit. This is yeah, basically the most foreground reef, you can see here. Again, lots of different colors and shapes, um, forming some yeah, blocks, some yeah, all kinds of details that, that really yeah, need to be put in to make it look Yeah, just realistic. We also have this strong light coming in from the left side, and this really yeah also needs to be reflected in the details areas here. See here, basically putting on those very fine details. Of course, with a very fine brush, you can see here, kind of stippling those. Details on. <clears throat> It's a very yeah, easy process of kind of using the background color um, quite a bit and yeah, just adding those details on top. And you know, we already start to yeah, build up the turtle. You can see here. It's basically the same. Um, Reusing the yeah, color that we, put in, that we put in before, and then we yeah, just kind of um, put on those darker spots, um, yeah, those in between lines between those um, scales here, more or less. Yeah, kind of a very simple process. Yeah, now to the yeah, back plate of the um, turtle here. Adding first some more details. Then I'm just you know, using the dry brush technique um, to kind of flash out the volume, the volume of the turtle. Yeah, just a bit more, as you can see here. You know, I'm using a very yeah, flat, small brush to yeah, add those details in. Those um, yeah, kind of lines between the uh, little scales. Or, I'm not sure how it's called in English, departments on the yeah, back of the turtle here. You can see. And the point is really that you yeah, kind of follow the shape of this um, backplate, more or less. Yeah, imagine just kind of a little wire um, laying over the um, turtle. And of course you also um, yeah, need to make sure it, it looks not like cut out. Therefore I Yeah, go back and kind of yeah, dry brush some areas to yeah, connect those a bit better with the yeah, the body of the turtle. And you see you now these parts here, those two lines looked or look uh, cut out when you yeah, just blend them a little bit more and they yeah, start to connect really nicely the body of the uh, turtle here. And then I start to even more flesh out or 
Yeah, build up the volume of this part. Yeah, by first putting in those lighter areas, and then I, yeah, start to put in the even darker patches. Blue, a lot of titanium, uh, lamp black. I mean, yeah, the same. Basically, yeah, needs to be done to the head of this turtle. You can see here. Yeah, first kind of establishing the yeah the in between lines, and then I go back and start to refine the eye, refine the nose, um, build up the shadow areas. You can see here. Adding, of course, some details in there. On the eye, for example, those lines. It's all a bit blurry. Um, wet in wet, in this case here. Yeah, it took quite a while to, to really flesh it out, more or less. And then comes the fun part, um, yeah, adding all those fish to the water. As you can see, I'm doing a kind of freehand, um, using the reference photo, but yeah, very loose, very free, kind of. All different sizes, shapes. Yeah, that's the finished painting. Perhaps you might like to see this video here in a full-time version on my Patreon. Link is down below here. Yeah, where we have this video in a version of over five hours of pure painting. Um, all kinds of details, color mixing process, and a ton of information. Yeah, otherwise, check out these other two videos here. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.